Good evening. Welcome to the our studio here in sunny Folsom, California. We have invited tonight to be with us two missionaries from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, here serving their church to tell people about Jesus Christ and the Book of Mormon and Joseph Smith. So on our your left, we have Elder Robinette. From where are you from? I'm from Bountiful, Utah. From Bountiful. And on the right, we have Elder Inman from Lehigh, Utah. From Lehigh, Utah. That's great. Brethren, we appreciate your coming and uh, being with us tonight. Now, this is going out worldwide to audiences all over the world, but in addition, that will probably include your parents, your aunts and uncles, your little brothers and sisters who haven't yet gone on mission, so you'll want to get them psyched about the idea, and possibly your friends, including non-member friends. So, we will start our interview with Elder Inman. Let's... let's uh, and ask him a few questions. So give me a moment here to let's get zoomed in on Elder Inman. Okay, great. Um, super. So Elder Inman, what do you have an exciting conversion story you'd like to share? serving in my second area uh, in Chico and we we had gotten a referral to um, this one house uh, and the lady that wanted a uh, Book of Mormon um, so we just went over there one day with uh, without really anything else to do and knocked on the door to give the Book of Mormon um, and the, the mother that answered um, she was totally expecting missionaries to come give her the Book of Mormon um, uh, and she asked us to give her the, start giving her the lessons um, so we were totally excited to um, start going over there and help teach them. I was a family of five, uh, and uh, our first first few lessons they went pretty well. Um, and you know the 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 daughters they had three daughters, um, and one of them was taking a little bit more time on knowing whether or not she wanted to uh, be converted to the gospel. Um, but I had a great companion at the time, so we were able to uh, you know, use our testimonies that we've built up and not only help her um, to her role of conversion, um, but it helped me out a lot too in the in the long run um, to actually see um, what it's like to actually convert to the gospel. I guess because um, you know I had been I've been a member all my life, um, and these people haven't. It's it's just a totally different experience that can't be done without the, the role of the Spirit. Um, so it converted both of us, I guess you could say. Great. Well, thank you very much for that story. That's inspiring. What do you especially like about the wards where you've served? Um, the wards I've served in, they um, have done a lot for me. Um, being in like sacrament meeting um, and then at people's homes for dinner um, have uh, made me know what I want to look for in my family um, 
because all, all the families that have been in my wards have been great. I've loved all my wards and all my areas. Um, and it's just the small things that you would never really recognize if you weren't paying attention. Um, they just kind of caught me off guard, but it's, it's the things that um, they do because they have the gospel in their life. Um, and it's just helped me to be able to understand the families and their situations a little bit better and um, point out what I am going to try and be like when I have a family. Great. Thank you. What are you doing that your mom would be proud of? Um... <clears throat> One thing she'd probably be proud of is um, when I started out my mission and throughout it, it's um, it's like it started a bit rough, um, and you know missions aren't the easiest things in the world, um, but I was able to to get a quote from her one day. that I guess her and my grandma use um, and it's uh, your attitude is like a flat tire and it's not going to change until you fix it um, so ever since then I've been doing my best to try and change my attitude for the better um, to make it the best I can be super my last question for you is What's your favorite part of missionary life besides sharing the gospel? Um, I think on my mission I've become uh, a people person. Back at home I wasn't too much of one. But um, the people you meet out on a mission or just anywhere in the world um, meeting new people is great, um, and one of the the best ones for me is the other missionaries that I'm around. Um, if you're not able to really um, have a connection with any other missionaries, it's not going to be as easy because if you have a special connection with someone else, it can really help you spiritually if you need it in that way um, but just being able to be around other missionaries and make lifelong friends is a really great part of it super well thank you so much for coming to our studio tonight and we really appreciate the time out of your busy schedule and uh, thanks again talk to you later bye bye <laughs>